Hi, Ricky here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on Google Forms for SLP data tracking and it's pretty easy. Uh, this is going to be the new no frills approach. I'm only doing basics just to get you through a form and to show you what the the data tracking looks like. So I also utilize uh, prompt levels when I do my forms. So uh, I have five prompt levels, which have worked really well for me. I've been doing this since uh, 2015. <laughs> I've been using the same uh, uh, levels. So, and uh, they're just a little different than the levels that are out there and it's all numbered. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go to Google Forms. And in Google Forms, you're going to see the purple rectangle. And you click on the blank form. And here we go. Now, if you want a Google Form, but you don't have it in your, if you don't have G Suite, you just type in Google Forms. And it comes right out. Here it is. All right, and then you just click on one of these blue rectangles. Okay, so we're going to stay in, in Google Suite, and this is basically what you're going to do. We're going to title it uh, SLP Data for 2021. Our first question, so I'm going to, um, you have choices. See, there's all different choices here of how you can fill in your answers. So I keep it super, super simple. Um, I usually just use the question format and then I'll show you how um, what types of answers I use. Uh, there's three different answers that I may use if I'm if I need choices. I'll use multiple choice. I will use um, a drop down box or I will use multiple choice grid. That is it. Those are the three that I really like. All right, so the first question is going to be, the name of the child and I keep everything short answer for uh, pretty much everything except for the, the uh, prompt levels. All right, next one is date and you want to make sure the date pops up right in the right hand side. Time, I need to keep track of my time. You want to make sure the time pops up and session session type i have three different types of session types i'm going to keep this one a drop down i'm going to show you a couple of other one the other two that i use and then in the uh, response section you'll see the the differences okay so session type um, i have individual in person individual remote and makeup. Now you may have a lot of groups, so you can add groups to yours as well. Okay, all right. So the next section are the goals. So the goals that I'm putting in here are um, S blends and um, with the S blends, I want a prompt level. So I'm going to add another screen and I'm going to leave it at multiple choice. And this will be S blend PL level, okay? And I'm gonna change this to uh, multiple choice. And my options are five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now I have the pretty much the setup of my of my form. And to save time, I'm just going to copy and copy. Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, move this down. It's real easy to move these forms around if you want them to be in a certain order. So I have S blends. Okay, good. All right, now I want to add, I'm going to copy again. So this is S blends. Let's change the goal to a language goal for the second one. Whoops. We'll do this one, WH. WH, who 
plus action. There we go. And short answer is the best for typing in a percentage. So uh, it, it's the quickest. So that's what I use. All right. And then the here I'm going to just put um, who PL. And I'm going to leave it um, the same PL level. And now I'm going to copy this again. And we'll just do one more. I'll do. Um, Whoops, got to always click from those dots there. OK, so this one I'm going to do what? What plus action. And here I'm going to just do what PL. I'm trying to make them as short as, as possible because in my Google Sheet, I, I don't um, want it to be a really long sheet. So I, I try to make the, the uh, titles as short as possible. OK, so I think we're good. And I just double check everything. And I think this is good. Let's just change this one to multiple choice grid, just so you can see what that looks like. OK, all right. And we're going to add one more. I'm going to add notes and notes and plan. All right, just in case you want to add something at the end to remember to do something. OK, so we're done with with this. OK, and now. OK, we want to go to the I. Once you're done with all your questions, so we're done with our form. That's it. And I actually kept this form for all my preschool students. So I just copy and pasted the form uh, for every student. Um, it was pretty easy to do. OK, so oops. And the other thing that I want to do, I'm going to just make a, a copy of this. And the way you do that is you go here and make a copy. I just want to have an extra copy of this just in case. You never know what happens on. <laughs> if you lose it, you'll always have a copy. All right, so let's go back. Whoops. All right, so now we want to fill it in. OK, so here we go. So we've got CP, the date. I'm, I'm just going to put one date in. I have this completed already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just one, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when you uh, input all the, all the data Okay, for three of them. So I'm just going to just do this one. And I'm just typing in the, the date. And I'm going to type in the time. Oops. And the session type. OK, so as far as the splints are concerned, uh, they imitated with only one prompt, which was really nice. Um, and oh, I forgot to put the percentage. And they d imitated about 50%. OK. All right. Now with who what plus action, they were also able to imitate. We're going to put them, they're just starting to learn this. They're able to imitate 40% of the time, so with one prompt. And with the what action, they're doing better with that. They're um, now able to do 60%. Um, with just a, um, when you ask them a question, they can answer uh, the question, the what action question. All right, and here you're going to put the, the notes and, and what the plan is. So maybe the child's doing, you know, fairly well with the S, S blends, but their score was a little bit lower because SK is giving them a trouble, uh, a problem. So I'm going to focus on I'm going to focus on SK next time. OK, cool. OK, so I'm going to submit that. OK, so now I'm going to show you. So that's basically how you do a form. Now I'm going to go to um, a screen 
to show you the responses. So this is um, a response form. And this is just for one response. And this is what the chart looks like on this screen. So here, um, it's OK. So this is what the response form looks like for three responses. Okay, now after uh, you look at your responses, uh, you can make a Google Sheet. And this is my Google Sheet. This shows the information. And the first thing that I do is, um, is I highlight everything. Now, this is um, a chart that I had already made. So what I'm going to do with this chart, I'm going to delete it because I want to show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing I do is I hide the timestamp, we don't need that. I hide everything that I don't need. I hide the name, don't need that. I don't need the session type, hide that. Okay, all right. So this is the information that I want on the screen. Okay, and now I can insert the chart. All right, so here's the chart, and now we have to add the information that we need. So um, stacking, you want it to be 100%. Axis, you want that to be date. That's the x-axis. The series, you want to remove the date. You want to remove the time. And we want to have S blends. I remove the PL levels because the, the uh, amounts aren't accurate, but you have the levels right here, so you can actually uh, compare. So I'm gonna get rid of the PL levels because I have them right here on my screen. And I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, so those are the levels. And I always, um, oops, sorry, <laughs> I have lots of screens, so that's why you see my me moving around so much. Okay. Um, so I always click on use row one and use column C. Now I'm going to go to customize and I'm just going to double check everything chart style. I like to maximize it. I like it to be 3D. Um, chart and access. Let's see. Axis. Yeah, that looks okay. Series. That's the Y axis. Uh, the only thing that I add are data labels. And okay, we're good with that. All right, let's see what else there is. Um, horizontal access, don't need anything. And it looks like we're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna go back because I don't like my chart. For some reason, the, the chart gets set up that way. But once you complete all the, the paperwork, and you click on this, this is the chart that I like, and you see I, I lost the, the uh, maximize. I, I have the maximize, I lost the 3D. So here we go, so here's the chart. And it's giving you your percentages, and oh, I forgot one more thing. Uh, there's one more thing we need that I lost, is the percentages. So isn't that a beautiful chart? And that's how you can uh, make your form and create charts in Google Forms. So I hope you found this a helpful video. All right, enjoy. You can always email me if you have any questions. Okay, thank you. Bye.